EV1 with red stripes and EV2 with white stripes, egress the crew lock with tool bags. EV2 goes to the forward face of the station, then port to a crew equipment translation aid cart. EV2 stows the tool bag, while EV1 follows the same path. EV1 retrieves a portable foot restraint and installs it in the robotic arm. After EV1 ingresses the foot restraint, the robotic arm operator flies the crew member to the most inboard port radiator beam valve module worksite. Meanwhile, EV2 follows the Nader handrail path and picks up a previously deployed cable rail bag. EV2 deploys the Ethernet cable along the handrails, then translates Zenith to the camera port 8 worksite. The end of the cable is pre-positioned at the camera stanchion base for later in the EVA. EV2 retraces the path back to the crew equipment translation aid cart, drops off the now empty real bag, and takes a different bag to the U.S. laboratory module. EV2 takes a cable adapter from the tool bag and translate to the starboard end cone of the European Space Agency's Columbus module. EV2 installs the jumper which passes power and data from Columbus to the Bartolomeo external platform. EV2 goes to the Bartolomeo platform and closes several cable clamps on the Zenith side. This allows future robotic arm operations to install payloads on the platform. EV2 returns to the crew lock bag on the U.S. laboratory module and continues forward in port to the Japanese Space Agency's Kibo module. A section of the thermal blanket has flipped open and EV2 will close the flap and secure it to handrails with a wire tie. EV2 returns to the bag on the U.S. laboratory module. EV1 installs two ammonia line jumpers which were removed on an earlier EVA because of a small leak. The jumpers were refurbished, leak checked, and reflown. After mating the jumpers fluid quick disconnects, EV1 will mate two electrical connectors which will provide heater power. After completing the jumper task, the robotic arm operator flies EV1 to the camera port 8 worksite. EV2 meets EV1 at the camera port worksite after retrieving the new wireless access port capable external high definition camera from the crew lock. The two crew members exchange tool bags, after which EV2 takes EV1's tool bag back to the crew equipment translation aid cart and stows it. EV2 retrieves a different tool bag and translates to the port 4 integrated electronics assembly worksite. Several bolts on the 4 alpha side will be released and retorqued at a lower setting. This will make any future robotics replacement operations of those equipment boxes easier to perform. Then EV2 rejoins EV1 at camera port 8. While EV2 was retorquing the four alpha bolts, EV1 replaced the existing external high-definition camera with one that provides 
improved two-way high data rate communications between external payloads and Earth. To ensure the new wireless access port cable does not interfere with the new camera group's ability to pan and tilt, the crew installs a strap to hold the cable in place. EV2 mates the wireless cable to the Ethernet cable routed earlier in the EVA. After the camera changeout is complete, EV1 is flown to the nader side of station to the port radiator grapple bar worksite. EV1 installs two T-handle tools, which will allow the radiator grapple bar to be used in future EVAs. EV1 is then returned to the forward face of the space station, egresses the robotic arm, and returns the foot restraint to the port cart. While EV1 performs the T-handle tool installation, EV2 translates to a panel on the aft side of the truss. EV2 moves an electrical connector from a non-functional connector to a cable which can provide power. EV2 then picks up tool bags and returns them back to the airlock. After EV2 retrieves another hardware bag from the crew lock, they translate slightly starboard on the forward face and manipulate three electrical connectors. Once that is complete, EV2 routes a power cable along the starboard nader handrail path. EV1 picks up the remaining tool bags and, depending on timing, returns to the crew lock or assists EV2 in routing the cable, Zenith, to the pump module. This completes the planned tasks for the radiator beam valve module jumper install EVA. Crew return to the crew lock and ingress. Subscribe for more space. space, 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 space.